And welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans, this is Mad Money Show. I'm bringing you some more Mutt Salary gameplay. I haven't had to put out a gameplay video in a while. My Mutt Salary looks the same pretty much every time. I got the same players. Um, I pretty much got it down to a science of the team that I like. Uh, you can see I got mostly defensive players there too. My opponent, however, I see three Steeler cards and I'm thinking like, you know, that's kind of an amateurish looking move. I mean, this is not the time to go homer and just pick the players you like. You gotta pick players that work. Uh, so I probably should have figured out right away this dude's a bit of a noob. So first play, he's trying to, he's stretching the defense. He's sending everybody deep and then he beats me with an underneath route. Uh, not a bad play. Second play though, for whatever reason, I'm expecting, you know, I saw all the deep routes going down. So I'm kind of expecting this dude to try to bomb it up. And sure enough, the next play, he doesn't even leave himself any short options and he bombs it up. Uh, and he just, you know, that's user defense right there. Get all over the ball. Uh, so the next play, I know he's, he's going to bomb it up again. If you're bombing it up pretty much every play, I know that's what you're going to do. And sure enough, he does it again. So I'm coming out to cover four and we're getting a nice snatch right there. User pick. Um, nice return too. I mean, get it back to a out field goal range and what do you know the dude quits you know what i'm saying it's like you only tried three times and you're giving up already i mean what's the point of playing a game if you're gonna quit that fast yeah, I hate games like that, man. I, I want a good competitive game. The second game I got, however, that's a pretty interesting looking lineup right there. Nice and diverse. He goes all offense. You know what I'm saying? He's got two wide receivers and a Gronkowski tight end. So um, obviously the exact opposite of me. Uh, I didn't know till after the game that the guy I was playing was a top rated player. But as I was playing, I kind of picked up on that based off of the fact that um, every time I have a close game these days, it's typically against a guy who's, who's like in the top 100 or whatever. Um, when I checked, he was actually the number 37. The title of the video is... Uh, number 47 but um, that's because I just put out a video of a different guy who I played who was ranked 37 at the time so I didn't want to put that in the title again thinking it would be confusing for people going through my videos of me playing number 37 over and over and over so uh, either way I mean, like I said he just was was a high riser here's a here's a play I just put this play out both of the first two plays that I that I just showed I just put out in the video um, two of my more favorite plays out of the Ravens playbook here this play here I'm noticing a lot of people are, are stopping this play a little bit quicker than normal uh, I'm guessing it's getting used a lot. It's one of my more popular plays this year. Um, so here we go. I got the first down. Those first three plays were not that great. Uh, he's doing a really good job of tackling. Fundamentals are so important in this game. I said it last video I put out. Um, top players you know, can do the small things like tackle. And uh, you know what I'm saying? They just they just limit their mistakes. And he's doing he does a really good job of that in this game. Uh, here, I just got Chris Johnson. I can't wait to put him into a video. He could probably take these passes to the running back a lot further than I'm getting. I still have, I think, the... Uh, old my old um, uh, Marshawn Lynch card in here right now. So here we go. It's first and ten. I'm stepping up. I don't want to put the ball in, in the risk. That's why I got Andrew Luck, man. He's just a really cheap mobile version. I try using faster quarterbacks. They just don't feel any different. Like I, I have like a, a Randall Cunningham. I tried him. He just didn't feel any faster. So I got to take the points here. I thought I could run for a first down, and I could have swore I hit that button way sooner, but it goes left. Ah! I don't typically miss field goals, but I really felt like. It if anything, I felt like I pushed the button and it just didn't respond and I had to push it harder to get it to click. I don't know, um, but it's annoying. I hate doing that. So here we go. He's got the ball. That was right over my area. Nice cover three beater. That should have been something I should have been all over. Um, I, you know, it's like when you get a chance to make points, you got to convert them. He's still chucking it up though, man. This is not, I'm not the guy for that. Got like this is not what you want to do. So I come down with it. So here we go, um, you know what I'm saying? My defense already has two picks on long ball attempts and uh, I'm feeling good. So I'm, I'm gonna use the same plays. This, like I said, I'm, I'm still using that single back trio that I just put out. It's a really successful play. This here, this is not a play that I typically use. It's, it's, a, it's a very similar play to the one I do use, uh, but this is in a different formation and it doesn't really work out as good as I try to step up and only get two yards. Um, this is the actual play. I go right back to, the, this is the original play. that typically works way better. It's just a better formation. As you can see, I have a better result there. I get about six yards. So. Here we go, third and three. I'm working this running back, man. This is my one of my new favorite plays. This little swing route um, just tends to get open so well, and it's really hard to stop. As you can see, I pick up the first down, try to get back in bounds, get a little bit more. Uh, really good play. One of my one of my more favorite uh, plays. I found it kind of mistakenly late in the season. Um, this one here, this is a, a motion play. You know what I'm saying? S just stick it in there. Tight windows. They're saying our arm strength is going to be really important in this next Madden uh, when it comes to throwing the ball in the spots and, and sticking it in tight windows. So I'm working short routes. I just to take him over the top with this next one. I think that he's starting to pay attention to the short, uh, intermediate, and uh, 
sideline routes. So I go right over his head. Uh, really good, uh, you know. That's my thought process going into it. Here, this is a fake motion. I'm trying to get him to pay attention to these outside routes, and hopefully he just leaves me right up the middle like he does for a nice big run. So my offense is definitely cooking. I'm definitely, you know, a step ahead as I typically am with my play calling when I'm doing it right. Um, here, you know, right, right to the spot there. I was, I was lucky. That was kind of a tight window. Good throw, good play. Uh, first and goal. I don't know if I should be running out of this formation to try to score. Hit him with another fake motion, hoping that he pays attention to that. Um, but it looks like it actually shifts somebody right into the center, and I get nowhere. No blocking. I really should have came out with something bigger. So I don't want to settle for another field goal attempt. I'm not a... Like, it's not that I'm afraid I won't make the field goal from this distance, uh, but it's just like missed opportunities right now are just are just mounting. So I'm doing a, I want to say it's a fake motion, but in reality, it's, it's definitely an option on this play. Um, you know, I'm wasting as much time as possible so I don't give him the ball with a lot of time. Here, I know exactly what I'm going with. I'm just trying to stretch this play so I can hit the circle route. He's wide open for the touchdown. Uh, really nice play there. It's one of my favorite receivers. Here I come out in a, in a dime normal, and I don't get my defense set before he snaps the ball. He just snaps the ball right away. I didn't have my audibles in, and I really feel like that cost me a big play. He gets, I don't want to say lucky, but um, that that score right there, just, you know, he just comes right back and hits me with something that I wasn't expecting. It's all good, though. I got 41 seconds left, all my timeouts. I'm totally thinking I'm going to go down and score again here. Um, calling some of my favorite plays. This play right here is just so money. Come back and, and, and user catch the ball. Really hard play to stop. Uh, I'm still running this uh, little, you know, counter play. Uh, this play action counter right here. It just doesn't really... I didn't have the run room. I would have, could have really got a lot more yards out of that than I did. Um, so here we're going to throw him up top again. This is the second time I ran that play. Um, and he pays attention to that. I think he he, he recognizes that play pretty good in the future. Uh, I, th I might have overused it a little bit. Uh, this play here, I'm trying to hit that end zone. And he had it, just didn't muscle it. You know what I'm saying? So I got to take uh, I gotta take another shot at it right here. I'm, I'm going to hit him with a play action. Very similar play. And he tries to use or pick up that fumble, scoop, and score. And he totally just whiffs. That's a huge play right there. He's should have made a, a better attempt at picking that up or just let the computer do it or something because uh, that fail leaves me in field goal range as I uh, I'm, I'm third and 21 I'm really just trying to work for a closer field goal now I'm happy once again shoestring tackle really sound tackling I'm happy to just get another crack at a field goal here um, didn't you know first one didn't go too well second one goes way better uh, I hit it right on the money like I'm supposed to and we're going to half with a 10-7 lead I'll take that though he gets ball that's the thing I mean his offense hasn't done a whole lot he really just has that one lucky big run uh, but for a guy that uh, has this much money into his offense offense I gotta I gotta pay attention to it for sure so he's running the ball pretty good too I mean that Derrick Henry card is a is a favorite amongst tournament players it still is I can't say I ever really used it I'm not a huge fan of it so I'm starting to uh starting to stack the line a little bit to stop these runs and you can see the result there nowhere to go um here you know what I'm saying nice big hit stick I, I love these corners man Rogers Camardi coming up, sticking his hat in there. You know what I'm saying? Now, everybody seems to be all about the Deion Sanders cards. I'm about Camardi, man. So here we go. I get a nice sack on the next play, fourth and 11. He's running a hurry up. Uh, this is a really big opportunity for me here to uh, get the ball back with good field position. So I call a timeout because I want to stack the defense in my favor um, and, and, and bring out some uh, you know, some heavy pressure, a nice, a nice pass defense play. And he's chucking it up and it basically turns into a punt as I user pick it again. Uh, I, I don't want to let the ball just go. I don't want to try to swat it because I don't trust it. I feel like if I would have tried to swat it he would have caught it so i have to do with my instinct and pick it off i lose a lot of field position doing that but it's better than him getting the ball so here we go first and ten you know what i'm saying i'm still on his side of the field that's good enough uh this is another variation of that play that i just put out i throw it up to the x route but r1 the running back was wide open too i could have went so many different places there he just didn't come down with the ball though bottom line i thought that i had more room to throw that either way second and ten we're going up top and I told you he paid attention to that play. The last time I ran it, he uh, he must have noticed that that formation, and he just diagnosed it perfectly. And I make my first mistake. I gave him the ball back when I really have an opportunity to put the game away a little bit here. And then here I'm just you know just lazy on the on the drag route. So this guy's doing a pretty good job of um, of staying in this game when I I'm, I'm just doing a poor job of, of putting it away. Uh, here he throws or tosses to Derrick Henry again. Like I said, that stat line is kind of misleading because he really only had one big run uh, for the touchdown. But he's still doing a really good job as I come in here stacking shed fill that gap by myself user and uh, sean taylor um you know sean taylor i don't know what i'm gonna do when madden 18 comes out and i gotta wait for the next oops sean taylor i don't know what i'm gonna do so third and four i'm thinking you know he's there's no way he's gonna try to run for it um so i'm dropping everybody back he throws it right to my man 
And I just, you know, I use her that, I use her lurking, he just didn't have the hands to bring it in. So fourth and four now, I'm thinking there's no way in hell he's gonna do a run, and he does. So props to him for having the guts to step up and hand it off. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's that's a really good play. So here, double drags, you know what I'm saying? It's an annoying play. It's not as deadly as it was in the past. Um, I do a pretty good job of, uh, you know, limiting that to only four yards. That was a play that's really been more of an issue back in the day. Here, I'm dropping everybody back. Um, I, I don't know why I decided to do that, but it really works out. As uh, Bob Sanders undercuts this poorly thrown pass off his back foot, I, I don't know. I don't want to say I'm in this guy's head, but I'm definitely forcing him to make a lot of mistakes. So here I run this play again. I mean, this is just one of my favorite plays. It's so hard to stop. Uh, you know, get me, get me out of my own zone, out of my own red zone, or back against the wall. Just give me some yards. If you, this play, I think my play calling was kind of uh, a little bit cheesier than normal. Uh, what? Well, because I've run this play a bunch of times. I ran that last play a bunch of times. I'm running my single back trio a bunch of times. It is what it is. I think I typically mix up my plays a little bit more than I than I did in this game but you got to do what works and um, you know I, I guess I was just going through some basics this one here though this is a play that I didn't run very often it's one of my more favorite plays and I throw this in here uh, noticing the clock at about two minutes you know what I'm saying this is really all about killing clock at this point he comes up with a big user sack you know now now I'm in a position where it's pretty much I don't want to say an impossible situation to get this first down but the odds are not in my favor so I go with one of my favorite plays that single back trio again I got to throw it up early because the pressure was there and I don't get it. So at least I get to punt the ball away. Put the game on my defense, which has pretty much been shut out the entire game. He's still trying to run the ball because he, that's the only success he's had. Every time he throws it, it's typically a pick, so he doesn't get much there. He's gonna have to throw this ball one way or another as I come in, uh, you know, stop him again. He's only got you know four yards right now. Uh, this is he's got to step it up. So once again, coming out, stuffing that run. I can't believe with this amount of time at this situation, he's he's gonna run the ball three straight times. But that's what he does because that's that's all he knows, I guess, at this point. And here we go. He's got a play action, throws it up. Nice user defense, and that's. Game. You know what I'm saying game on the line and he couldn't even get a single first down. <laughs> Man. You are one pathetic loser. Could only get three yards with the game on the line. That's how this defense is doing. So I'm just going to pound the ball three times, make him kill his timeouts. And, uh, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. Here he tries to stack the line. I throw him with a little toss. I could have scored, but I didn't want to do that. I just want to end the game. I don't want to give him any chances. And that's it. Game over. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I looked after the fact um, to see that the dude was ranked, uh, you know, 47 at the time. Like I said, his, his ranking went up, but it is what it is. Um, you know what I'm saying? This defense can shut down anybody. I don't care how much points you put in your offense. I don't care how much um, you know, how much your salary is on receivers. Uh, that's why I go defense heavy because I believe in my defense. I believe my defense can stop anybody and that's exactly what happened there. So um, so that's it. If you guys want to see more gameplay, do me a favor and hit the like button and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Money Shut Out. Hey, you made it to the end of the video, which means either you like the content you're watching or you fell asleep halfway through. Either way, if you hit the subscribe button, you can catch all my videos now releasing daily. Thanks for watching.